in the world of Ama Piano, where beats reign supreme in collaborations. So, apparently, a storm is brewing between the giants of the genre, Ukelvin Momo and Kabza the Small. Just recently, news broke that Kelvin Momo is taking legal action against Kabza the Small, um, where he's seeking a staggering 1 million rand in damages. But what led to this explosive legal battle, you may ask yourself? Well, it all started with a distribution deal gone sour. Apparently, Kelvin Momo alleges that um, Kabza the Small, his former mentor and collaborator, failed to promote his music commercially. According to Kelvin Momo, they had entered into an agreement where Ukabza was supposed to catapult his music to the masses. I mean, for some who, who do not know, Ukabza, um, well, Kelvin Momo was previously signed to Ukabza the Small's, um, uh, what's the name of that? Yeah, but he was signed to Ukabza the Small's um, company, Piano Hub, Piano Hub, yes. Well, the tensions escalated further when Kelvin Momo and Kabza the Small were set to release a highly anticipated uh, joint album this year. I mean, I'm a fan and I know that many other fans were eager, but behind the scenes, it seems conflicts were brewing. Because actually, if you remember or if you do not know, the album was supposed to be released last year. I think that's when, as it last year, I think that's when U U Kelvin Momo firstly posted that um, they are working on an album with U U Cubs are small, but it seems since then it's just been radio silent. No updates on what's happening with the album. We couldn't even see them together in the studio, but I remember that we used to see them doing back to back mixes and all of that. Well, their collaboration was meant to be a, a groundbreaking album, but instead it turned into a local battleground. I mean, think about it private school and spiritual and piano. It was going to be something awesome. Um, Kelvin Mom was previously signed under Cubs of the Smalls label and he gained fame with his album uh, Private School Lama Piano. Yeah. However, as their partnership evolved, uh, evolved it seemed that uh, they also had discord in between them or problems. Now, as the Ama Piano community watches closely, questions arise. Will Kevin Momo get the Justice he seeks? Can the two maestros of Ama Piano reconcile their differences and return to making music together? Or some are even going as far as saying that um, it was DJ Maporis who started this whole mess. But <laughs> you know people, they're always saying DJ Maporis are this, DJ Maporis are that. So probably it's not. But hopefully this all gets solved and we get to hear that album which I and many other people have been waiting for for a long time. Anyway, stay tuned as we unravel more twists and turns into this creeping saga. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share for all the latest updates on the Amapiano Field and many other news.